Okay, so I have a question about how you would, uh, how, how would you solve this problem? Oh, hi. That's, that's a fence, Cornwood. Well, who put it there? Oh, is this your cousin's car? No, I'm stealing it. Okay, well, I'm gonna steal a helicopter. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I kind of get it. I kind of get why they don't want Air One. <laughs> Make it explode and walk away. <laughs> He's so cool. <laughs> Please, I want somebody to be out here. It'll be so funny if I do this. Oh, you're okay. That's good. Oh, good. Never been better. Meeting time. <laughs> it was so funny. Oh, I wanted somebody to see me so bad. Oh, how do you? Blah, blah, blah. Bad, bad, blah. bad branding. Oh, Corn Who cares? It's food. Yeah. But they're very good. Speaking of food, take this. I am so glad oh, that oh, we don't just have to live off you. of senior buns anymore. Oh my god. Yeah. Well, I, my best I, I, I though, shake it up when I bring food in for the. Oh my God! <laughs> 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 oh, so good, <laughs> Coil. <laughs> hey. <laughs> This misuse its proper function? Well, I mean, you do it to like revive, actually revive people. Uh, Duncan, I got a question. What's up? What if the PD, let's say the regular rank and file, want you to do something that high command does not want you to do? What are you going to do? I will weigh the opinions of the rank and file and high command and try to find a middle ground between the two. Okay, and what if council members come to you with questions that you don't feel you can answer given your current rank? Oh, Ed is here. Uh, oh wait, this is good, Ed is here. I will check with the rank that I'm supposed to check with and then bring an answer Come back on, to them. Me. Or I'll just answer it. You have, I, as also as the assistant to the assistant chief of police slash chief, I do have a high command uh, chain of command skip and I can utilize that for quick answers. Good luck, Bear. Good luck, Bear. What is a, what is a, what is a cooldown on the chain of command skip? That's a good question. Uh, whenever Barrick says, oh, I'm hanging like up the phone now. <laughs> can confirm there have been several instances of me e either hanging up the phone or taking the SIM card out of my phone and throwing it into the canals. How many times have you changed your number? <laughs> Is that specifically due to Duncan, Barrick? Yes. <laughs> um, okay, that's, that's Respectfully. definitely reassuring to have well, that's good to know. can cause that. Well, that's because I tell him things that he already knows, because me and him kind of think on the same wavelength at some times. <laughs> but also because I all... Well, I'm getting better at this, thanks to uh, the teachings of Mackenzie Hayes, is to have one subject to talk about at once, instead of trying to tackle five issues at once. I think it's helped me talk to Barrick better. Barrick, can you confirm or deny this? No further comment at this time. Understood. You can say my name three times and I'll show up. I've inherited Imagine, the Malton yeah. curse, as I was able to summon him successfully. Malton, Malton, Malton. I did that, and then he called me and said, did you call me? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, shit. So you just say my name three times, and I'll show up any hours of the day. Okay. Uh, scary to think about, but anyway. Cletus Cornwood. Okay, um, okay, so I have a question about how you would, uh, how, how would you solve this problem? So imagine a man, okay, and this is my line. Wait, what's your line? Well, you put up the picture. <laughs> I'm imagining a man cornered. Continue. Okay, so you have a man, and then you, there's a woman, and this woman has a dog. Okay, and this this woman's dog is attacking the man. Okay, and then the woman is she is like a elderly woman who is she volunteers at like a soup kitchen, but the dog is it has a, it's it's armed with a PD Glock, and the man is a pastor who volunteers at a old folks home. Which one do you shoot? <laughs> Uh, which shift is this? Shift two. Actually, give me an answer for each shift. Uh, shift two. Uh, I'm sorry, but that dog has a has a gun, and he might be a liberal dog. <laughs> oh 
Okay, good answer. Shift one. Fucking Christ. Uh, damn, that's crazy. Why would a dog have a gun? <laughs> And then shift three. Okay, no one's on radio. Call okay, flop, good call answers. Flop. <laughs> call flop. God! Call flop. Hey, 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 come on, John, cut that out. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm looks, playing. I'm looks playing. Looks around room. Okay, good answers. That means he. Hey, that means he knows the shifts. That's yeah, not, you know what? That, that that was all pretty good, to be honest. Yeah, when in doubt, you just call flop. The portrayal of uh, which which shifts which shifts them around, and I actually even being around with them and know how they are. Any questions about politics, though, like liaison stuff? Okay, uh, yeah. can whenever whenever there's like some shit going down in in like a city council meeting, and then they say, "Okay, Mister Mister Fanwell, is there anything wrong within the PD that we can help you with right now?" What do you say? Yes, and here's the data I have to back it up. Okay, good answer. Because you say yes regardless of what the actual answer is, and then you just make up the data after they start listening to you. So that's good. That's how you get what you want. Good shit. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something else I can do. <laughs> Uh, Cletus Cronin comes in to present something that he's working on with the PD. Um, he's, he's he's getting a little flustered because he's trying to explain things, but he's explaining to people who aren't cops. The people who aren't cops are trying to explain stuff to some to someone who is a cop. And but you know there's, there's a bit of a translation issue because they come from two different walks of life. As a liaison, I can translate because I'm working as both a council person and a cop, and I'll make sure to speak up and explain. What, which which side is trying to explain what you're trying to say and it's getting lost in translation. Okay, so I don't like what you just said. I'm the mayor. What are you going to do? Okay. Now I'm now I'm yelling at you. I mean, that's Stop talking while day. I'm talking. Stop talking while I'm talking. That sounds like a normal day. But also, I think I, could, I, think I have very constructive conversations with the mayor. Okay, not I getting mean, flustered. That's good. to yell. Okay, that's good. Not getting flustered. Okay, I'm not getting flustered either. No, no, I'm saying you're not. No, it's good. You're not getting flustered. The exercise was over. Phone's off, please. <laughs> I'm sorry. Right, no, not questions? you. You're fine. Yeah, sorry, Cornwood. All good. Is that Spolsky? Damn, it's Spolsky. Maple, what? You have a question? I asked my question. Oh, I didn't hear it. Hey, we need uh, money. Hey, Duncan. Before. Duncan, we need money. What's up? We're broke. Hi. BD is that's broke. That's a good question. That's a good good concern. Good question. Um, budget stuff is, you know, up to the, the mayor in, in conjunction or in combination with the, the treasurer? I'm not too sure. No, it's it's pretty much was, just the treasurer and the state at this point. Was there a question, Margo, not that treasurer? Right there? Yeah, because I'm not sure. <laughs> it's like a training we, we session. We got money, and then there was this whole thing of we, we shouldn't have got that money, and I don't, I never got a follow up on why that happened. Duncan, I have a question. What's up? Uh, with with the current PD liaison, what what do you plan on doing differently? I'm gonna have no, to give I, the unfortunate I, answer, which is be a lot more degenerate than him, because there's nothing really wrong with Nakoda, but there is something right with trying to have a new fresh face and a new fresh take after three months. All right. Is there anything that you thought was handled poorly under the previous regime that you, as supreme <laughs> leader of the PD liaison position, think that you can uh, do better? <laughs> I have no issues with Dakota, and I think he did a great job so far. Okay, so why, so what is your biggest problem with, with Nakoda that you that you have many of? <laughs> I have no issues with Nakoda. Okay, good, avoiding drama. <laughs> It's so stupid. Okay, I am. I am the. Hey, Duncan. This charge don't make no damn sense. What are you gonna do about it? Explain it to you. Okay. And what Hopefully do you realize you while trying it. to explain to me? You just don't. You just don't get it. <laughs> okay. What if? What if you realize there is something wrong with the charge? I gather the opinions of a few others. Not few others. I'm sorry. Slip of the tongue. Gather the opinions of the entire PD because I can probably get a hold of everyone who's active in at least seven days and uh, make an informed decision on whether or not the, the PD wants that charge to be like that. Okay. Let's say there's a bunch of people in the PD that do or don't want a charge to be a certain way. But you look at it and you say, regardless of what the majority thinks, that's wrong. And then people just don't understand it. Then what do you do? I sit down with Barrick and Ruby and we discuss it. Okay. And then what happens? You go to the city council meeting and bring my findings. I'm going to ask a really uh, controversial opinion. Um, Duncan, was there a war in Sandy Shore, yes or no? I don't know. Oh. Those who don't learn from history yeah, are doomed he really, repeat it. Was it the Sanguine War? No. Oh, no. God, he this doesn't even was know. The second war. War. Is that yeah. the one where uh, Owen Svensson and Connor Sovo put all the Rangers and troopers into a rocket ship and tried to launch him into the sun? What? That never happened. Hello? No, it's what? You should what? read said, up on this, Duncan. Yeah, I, he this said, is, uh, this is, uh, Owen said that Maple was the one that was trying to put up the most fight in the rocket ship. That or ever being put the, in a rocket ship. Duncan, Duncan, we will be here tomorrow and you have to read up on the war in Sandy Shore and we will we will quiz you on it. Hey, well, Duncan, congratulations. You're the PD liaison, and right now this is your very first meeting. 
What is what is right. the first thing you're going to bring up to the city council? Uh, we are the we are the city council. I'm uh, uh, I'm Doctor Cantor. Lucas is uh, Chief Justice Crane. Ooh. The rest of the council is actually in the back of the room. Who is that? Oh oh shit. Oh how do y'all? Ah! Sorry. Uh, okay, well, I actually do have an idea that was brought to me when, um, Slacks, I got this idea from Slacks, actually. Um, what was that about, Lucas? A minimum wage act, where there's a minimum wage that we're allowed to have in order to sustain ourselves, and the, the budget can't be lowered, lower, not budget, but the, the pay can't be lowered lower than that, uh, so why? given value. Why do we deserve that? Uh, it protects us from having our pay lowered so Hello, much that we're in debt. Okay, but but why? I mean, that's already that's already been established through the means that have been provided to us by the state. Yeah, you know, I'm mayor now. I'm playing the mayor. Okay, the means of the, that have been provided to us by the state already have a minimum set forth, and that's the way it is, and that's coming down from the state. So no, I think that act is is stupid, and those protections have already been put in place. Now what do you do? Well, unfortunately, I can't just go and ask the state if that statement is true. So I'm just gonna take his word for it. Okay. Any other questions? I feel like I'm training Duncan instead of asking him questions at this point. Oh, well, Barrick, what's your what is your chief complaint so far? And you, Barrick, you're gonna complain about something to the PD liaison. What are you gonna complain about? People will shut the fuck up if it's out of your control. Okay. So that's on God. Okay. So <laughs> I don't, don't want to hear you. Guys. <laughs> far, far. Dead homies. Okay. This is giving me spin the block back. Is anyone else running for liaison? I thought you were. Uh, you are, Cornwood. Oh, yeah. Um, you got my vote. I was considering it, but I don't know if I'm going to now. He's also, I think our... I'll take this opportunity. I think I already mentioned it, but I want to say it again because someone asked a question. Sheriff. Yes. Next year. Oh. <laughs> I've been calling Cornwood. <laughs> Everyone here knows, uh, deep down, inside, inside their soul, that if the general population gets to vote, they're going to see the name Cletus Cornwood and then neurons in their brain will activate and they're just gonna vote for him. Uh, Why? I think because when they look at you, they think sheriff. In fact, when I said sheriff, you stood up and said yes. I don't know, I was talking to somebody else. I don't wanna not run for liaison <laughs> because the sheriff election might be like next week or the week after, because it might not be. And then I didn't run for liaison and then I just disappointed myself. That's my answer to the question of why not both. But if I do get PD liaison, I will not run for sheriff and instead will support a very specific person for sheriff to be determined at a later date. That, that's that. Officer Wolf Wolf, by the way. 